Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at a problem involving the exterior angles theorem. So we have in the diagram below of triangle ABC, side BC is extended through C to point D. And we're told that the measure of angle A is equal to 3x minus 10, the measure of angle B is equal to x plus 20, and the measure of angle ACD is equal to 6x minus 40. And we need to find the measure of angle ACD. So for this problem, the first thing we want to do is label the information that was given to us. So we know that the measure of angle A is equal to 3x minus 10. So we can label this angle here. We have 3x minus 10. Next, we're told that the measure of angle B is equal to x plus 20. So we can label this angle here x plus 20. And finally, we were told that the measure of angle ACD is equal to 6x minus 40. So we can label this angle here, we have 6x minus 40. Now the exterior angles theorem states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So we were given the two non-adjacent interior angles. Notice how angle ACB would be adjacent to angle ACD. So we are focusing on the two non-adjacent angles. So we could set up the equation. We have the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle ACD. This is how we could apply the exterior angles theorem. We have the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles, in this case angle A and B. We could set that equal to the exterior angle ACD. And now we can make a direct substitution because we know we have an expression for each of those angles. So now we could replace the measure of angle A with 3x minus 10. So we have 3x minus 10 plus the measure of angle B is expressed by x plus 20. And finally, we could set this equal to the measure of angle ACD. We could set that to be 6x minus 40. So now we're just solving this equation for x. We're going to combine like terms. We have 3x plus x is 4x. Now we have negative 10 plus 20. This is a positive 10. So we have 4x plus 10 equal to 6x minus 40. And now to solve for x, we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. Now 4x minus 4x will cancel. And we have 10 equals 2x minus 40. So next we're going to add 40 to both sides. Minus 40 plus 40 will cancel. And we have 2x is equal to 10 plus 40 is 50. So now the last, step, the last step to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 will cancel. And we have x is equal to 50 divided by 2, which is 25. So we just found x is equal to 25. This is not our answer. We need to find the measure of angle ACD. So what we need to do now is we're going to substitute x equals 25 into this expression here. So we have the measure of angle ACD is equal to, and now we have 6 times x, which we just found to be 25, minus 40. So now we have, and we're going to put degrees on now, because we are finding the measure of an angle, and in Euclidean geometry we're referring to degrees, usually not radians, which is a topic you'll look at later, but we care about the degree sign for now. So we have the measure of angle ACD is equal to 6 times 25 is 150. And now we have 150 minus 40 degrees. So our final answer, we have the measure of angle ACD is equal to 110 degrees. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the exterior angles theorem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.